Today, I'm gonna to show you how to dodge and burn in Photoshop. Hello and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's episode, we're showing you a method for dodge and burning that is absolutely foolproof. This is a non-destructive technique that uses the lights and darks of your photograph to determine where to dodge and burn. And don't forget, you can download this sample image on flurn.com. Just follow the link in the description down below. To start our dodge and burn, we're gonna to go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over to a curves adjustment layer. Now, with a curves adjustment layer, you can choose to make areas of your image lighter or darker. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with our dodge, making our image a little bit lighter. Now, I'm gonna to choose to make my layer mask black, which simply hides this layer. Let's hit Control or Command I to invert the layer mask, making it black. Then I wanna paint white over top of the area where I'd like to see this effect. In other words, this is where I'm going to dodge on my image. Now at this point, we can see, although we are making our image a bit brighter, and I do like that it's a bit brighter where our subject is, it just kinda of looks like we painted that on there. So the next step is to make this blend into our image in a realistic way. To blend this effect with your photograph, go to Image and down to Apply Image. And in this case, you can use the default settings. Layer is gonna be Merge, Channel is RGB, Blending Mode is gonna be Multiply, Opacity is 100, and make sure Invert is not checked. Let's hit OK there. Now I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and take a look at my layer mask. You can see it uses the information of the image itself to define the visibility of this curves adjustment layer, blending it in with your photo. So that's our dodge step. Now it's time to do our burning. Let's go to Layer, down to new adjustment layer and over to curves. This time we're gonna pull our curves down. Let's invert our layer mask by hitting Control or Command I. And I'm gonna use a large soft edge brush to paint white on my layer mask towards the outsides of my image, which is gonna make this layer visible wherever I paint. Now again, I want this to blend a little bit better with my image. So we're gonna click on our layer mask, go to image, down to apply image, and this time you wanna make sure you click the invert option, which will make this visible in the darker areas. So let's hit okay. And you can see by my layer mask here that this is now visible in the darker areas. So we have our burn as well as our dodge. Now the best thing about this technique is I can always adjust my dodge and burn levels afterwards. So for instance, if I wanna adjust the dodge layer, which makes my image brighter, I can simply double click right here and choose to make my image brighter or darker based on how everything's blending with my image. And again, I can do the same thing with my burn, making that darker or less dark. And because we've applied a nice blend with our image, it's all gonna be completely realistic. Here's our before and the after. You can use this dodge and burn technique on any of your photographs. It is non-destructive and it will blend your dodge and burning effects with your image. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your screen. We'll send you a free tutorial every single week. Thanks so much, I'll flirt you later. Bye everyone.